foam roller. Thoracic spine rotation is this region here, and it's an intrinsic part of locomotion. We have to have a little bit of rotation to help us move. When we don't have that, the lower back, the shoulders are going to make up for that slack and predisposition us for injury. So um, let, I'll have you get down on the ground here in a sideline position. That's your sideline position. That top leg is brought up to the, in line with the hips, and the knee is bent at 90 degrees. I'll have you take your hands, your arms, and stack them on top of each other at shoulder height. Your head's nice and relaxed. This leg is always pressing into the ground, so that's hip adduction. You're always pressing it into the ground at all times. The tummy is tight. You got a little bit of tone. From here now, I'd like you to take your hand, your, the top hand, to externally rotate as far back as you can take it comfortably. And as you rotate, you want to emphasize the rotation of the thoracic spine, the cervical spine as well. So not just cranking with the shoulders shooting forward. So all the way back, as far back as you can go slowly. And then you want to come back down to your start position. The breathing uh, works like this. So you'll take a deep breath, and then you'll breathe out one big full breath on the way back, and then you'll breathe in on the way down. And you'll repeat that set the repetitions on the other side as well. But just remember, when you come back all the way here, you want to do a nice little pause, emphasizing the rotation. So it's not arbitrary. There's a lot of important things that are going on, so take your time through it. All right, let's see you try.